Okay, here are all my Sega Game Gear games. Since I still have my Game Gear out, I just figured I'd go ahead and show these off real quick. Um, I didn't get any of these myself. These were all part of the package that my um, cousin um, sold me. I also realized that she had two copies of Sonic Labyrinth. Or is one of them a second one? No, I don't think it's a second one. I mean, these... I mean, those look identical in every way. So a lot of Sonic games, a lot of... Um, Disney and... Um, classic cartoon-related Tom and Jerry, Garfield... and. Looney Tunes, Mickey Mouse. So, um, I don't know if there's a way to ever play any of these on the channel. Now, fortunately, there were a few of these that you can just play on Genesis, uh, like Sonic Blast, um, I think Sonic Spinball, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, um, whoa, is that Japanese? I think that is. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, um, so those are my Game Gear games. Like I said, I don't know if there's a way to ever play them on my channel, but you never know. There might be some way if, um, so if, if any of these games interest you and you know a way to play a Game Gear game on the channel, uh, let me know and maybe I'll set this up to work and get one of these on there. Now, naturally, if it's available on the Genesis, I think I'd just rather play it on the Genesis, but, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Game Gear and Genesis are pretty similar. I mean, isn't the Game Gear basically just a portable Genesis anyway? Um, be nice if the games were the same, but whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, let, let's move on to our next one. I'll probably just stick with the portables right now, Game Boy and DS and everything just because everything's on the floor and it's just easier that way and then I'll move on to that good stuff over there next here are the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games I put these together because there are some Game Boy Color games like Gold and Silver for example that you can still play on original Game Boy um, so anyway here those are Crystal yeah so I got all the classic Pokemon games actually this is kinda bothering me Let's. There. I don't know why, but that was kind of bothering me. Um, yeah, so I've got all the Pokemon games. Well, not all. Of, I mean, I've got all the main series ones. I, I still have all the main series games. So a lot of the spinoffs I never got because, I mean, they're it, it's different. But I was hoping that the trading card game would kind of teach me how to play the card game. And it kind of did, but I also lost. And I think I lost some cards in the process. I... I don't know. That's just confusing. And I thought, eh, okay, whatever. Um, Jungle Book, somebody got me just to try out the... She was the one that got me the Game Boy and just got a game just to test if it worked. And so I got that. Uh, Kirby, I got a bunch of Zelda games. Now, yes, I have both um, Link's Awakening and DX. I had that one first. And then um, Citrus is like, oh, you should get the DX version because it's in color and you get an extra dungeon. I'm like, okay. So that's where I got that one. Uh, once again, that's bothering me to have one, two, reverse. Uh, and then the Game Boy camera came with my Game Boy Pocket. Um... Mario Brothers Deluxe, which is basically just the first Mario game, but um, Tetris, Metroid, uh, Game and Watch, Pac-Man, which uh, this Pac-Man game, I remember I got at a store for like 25 cents, so I'm like, yeah, so that was really cool. So anyway, uh, those are my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. 
Um, which, these I can play on the channel because I have the GameCube a Game Boy Player adapter. So if any of these interest you, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's move on to Game Boy Advance from here. Okay, here are the Game Boy Advance games. So I've got some Zelda games. That Bionicle game there was my very first Game Boy Advance game. Got it the day that I got my Game Boy Advance. Um, didn't care much for it. I was, I think I was expecting a lot more than what it actually offered. But I was also, what, 10? So um, I was still new to what video games were and what they offered. I mean, especially since I didn't get my first Game Boy game until, like, the summer before I turned 10. Um, some more Bionicle games. Um, Mario games, Game & Watch Gallery, a couple Spongebob games, um, Donkey Kong Country, Crash Bandicoot, here are all the Pokemon games, as well as a couple of the Game Boy videos. Do you guys remember those? The Game Boy videos, you, uh, it had two episodes uh, that you plug into your Game Boy Advance, and you can watch full-length episodes. Um, so this one had Pokemon I Choose You, and here comes the Squirtle Squad. And this one has Playing uh, playing with Fire and Johto Photo Finish, which, as you can see from the picture there, was the really iconic Charizard vs. Blaziken battle, and that was awesome. I mean, that, that still is one of my favorite Pokemon battles to this day. I mean, it could be partially because of the nostalgia, but at the time, I'm like, dang, this is like the most intense Pokemon battle. I mean, it was it was intense. I was at the edge of my seat, like, oh, come on, Ash, you can do it, and, oh, it was so good. Uh, oh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Advance Wars, uh, Nicktoons Unite, I did play that one on the channel, like I said earlier in the video. Uh, I think I got that from Retro Game Treasure. Monsters, Inc., and Metroid Fusion, and I figure I actually still have this, the poster that came with the Game Boy Advance copy of Super Mario World. So it has the map on one side, and then it has uh, all the villains, all the characters that you'll encounter on the back, um, including all the Koopalings, so that was really cool. Um, yeah, I still have that. I, I actually still have a few boxes for Game Boy Advance cartridges. Um, like, I know I still have my Emerald box, for example. Um, I don't... I didn't. I don't have too many of them. I, I kept a few of them because they... I just... I mean, I, I love the, the box art on the, the Pokemon games. I mean, like, the... Especially during the Game Boy Advance era. I think even in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, too. Um... It it was like the um, holographic look, and it just it looked really cool. So anyway, uh, those are my Game Boy Advance games. So if any of these interest you, let me know. Can I I can also play some of these on the channel. Um, I just need to know what you guys want to see. I mean, well, I got a huge backlog right now, but um, I'll I might add those into the mix, especially once the backlog is not as backlogged. I mean, I still got like, I don't know, 50 hours of game content to go through. Anyway, let's move on to DS games. Okay, moving on to DS. A bunch of Pokemon games. Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Conquest. The main series Pokemon games. Which, I want to say that all of these, or at least most of these still have the original files. I know for a fact that Diamond um, I bought on uh, on its release date on April 22nd, 2007 and I know that that still has the original file. Um, now I know I've uh, played through Pearl a couple times and that's not my original copy of Platinum because a little dog decided to chew it up. Yeah, I didn't look at Bella for a week. I got, I mean, 
the only big deal was there was a Regigigas that was on there that was a mystery gift that unlocks the other three Regis. And I thought that was really cool. And who is texting me? I am busy. Uh, anyway, main series, Sonic, got some Mario games. Um, I actually really enjoyed that Mario game. That's a lot better than the 64 version. Because um, you can play as, uh, as well as Mario, you can play as Luigi, Wario, and Yoshi. And they all have special abilities. Um, like, Wario's a little bit stronger, but he... Um, he can't jump as far, whereas Luigi and Yoshi can jump a little bit further than Mario. Um, and there's also extra levels that you need said characters. It was really cool. Um, and Super Mario Brothers, the new Super Mario Brothers, is one of my favorite Mario games, actually. Um, as well as one of the few I've actually beaten. Um, yeah. Uh, Avatar Last Airbender. There was actually some voice acting in that that was really cool. Um, having the the cast from the show in there, but it's kind of its own story, and it's, eh, whatever. Uh, the Zelda games, Final Fantasy, I think I got that through Retro Game Treasure, Spanish Coach, Animal Crossing, Phoenix Wright, Advance Wars, 999, one of the greatest games ever. Zoo Tycoon was my very first DS game. Oh, I have a Advance Wars separated from Advance Wars, that's going to bother me a little bit, but... Um, Days of Ruin, that was kind of my intro to that series. Um, somebody at school played it, and I thought it was really interesting. Uh, there's my fried uh, action replay. You can actually see the... the it started to melt. It, it overheated and melted. So I had to get a new one. Um, so that's all the DS games. Moving down here to the 3DS games. Um... Some Zelda games. Link Between Worlds was absolutely amazing. Ocarina and Majora are also amazing. Haven't actually gotten a chance to really play too much Triforce Heroes, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, Mario games. I actually didn't care much for that Luigi's Mansion game. I, I adore the first one. And the third one was really good. I, I have some complaints about the third one, but... Um, I didn't care much for the second one. Just having to redo the same uh, levels over and over was really annoying. Kid Icarus, I didn't get a chance to play that much. Star Fox is always good. Spirit Camera, I just thought the concept was interesting. Um, going through the main series Pokemon games. Um, and some of the other, like, Rumble Blast... The other two games in the 999 trilogy, so they're really great. Uh, more Pokemon Smash Brothers and the new Metroid game, which I hear is really good. I just. You're going to hear this a lot when it comes to the actual uh, console games of. Uh, I haven't played it yet. Um, there's a lot of these that uh, I just haven't played yet. Anyway. Uh, so those are my DS games and 3DS games, so once again, if you're interested in any of those, let me know. Actually, I don't know how I'd play those. I'm not really big on using emulators. I like using the actual game, if possible. Unfortunately, on the DS games and 3DS games, um, there's no way to record them. So, but if you guys have a method that's not super duper expensive let me know because I there's a lot of these games I'd love to play on the channel but um, there's just uh, no way to do it anyway let's move on to the console games I forgot about uh, PSP games uh, so here's just a few of them I have the rest of them on a shelf and they're organized and alphabetical and everything so we'll get back to them in a little bit but these are what I... Most of these are what came with the PSP when I got it. Um, outside of uh, these two, which I think were probably Retro Game Treasure. But, uh, these six uh, were games that actually came with the PSP. 
Um, so that was really cool. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll get back to those in um, a couple minutes. Okay, so we're finally on the shelf now. Uh, and, uh, well, mixed in with horror movies is the start of the PS3 games and comedies, apparently. So I got those. And then I got all these. Assassin's Creed and Batman are definitely games I'd like to play. I'd like to go through the Call of Duty games. I will probably not ever be playing Dark Souls on the channel. I know that's probably disappointing, but... I'm horrible at video games as it is. I don't need some of the hardest video games ever made to cause me problems. Um, Oblivion, Far Cry, Infamous, those are all really good. Um, Shadow of the Colossus. Moving down here. Eleanor, Little Big Planet, Motorstorm, probably Naughty Bear at some point, <laughs> um, just because of how bizarre of a game it is. The Persona games, definitely. Ratchet and Clank, I'd love to play. Silent Hill, yes. Um, if I can't ever get the Genesis to work, I do have some of the classics on that. Forced Unleashed, yes. What is this one? Huh. Never heard of that one. <laughs> That's another thing that uh, every time I look at my game list, I always go, what's that one? And then I look at it, huh, I've never seen that one before. Uh, that happens a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Uh, okay, moving on to PS4. I was really disappointed with this game, Seven Days to Die. I, w I didn't, I didn't like that one all that much, which made me sad. Um, Atari flashbacks. Just in case I can't ever get the Atari to play on the channel, I can still play some of those games. Um, down here, Battlefield. Call of Duty, Danganronpa, um, me and Phoenix talked about playing that one at some point. Um, Dying Light, the little bit I played was really good. Wait. No, I haven't got around to that one. Evil Within, I know I played that one, a little bit of that one. It was really good, but it was really hard. But that was one of the scariest games I've played in a while, so that was cool. Uh, J Stars was fun, so I'd like to play a little bit of that on the channel. Oh, huh. I guess I should actually focus on the games. I was staring at the games and my camera was like, oh, what's that? Yeah, anyway, here we go. Um, Last of Us was really good. I'm excited for the second one. Well, I mean, the second one's out. I just need to get it. Uh, one Piece... Uh, good classic anime fighting game. Red Dead Redemption, and I still need to play. I uh, haven't played too much of the first one. Um, Shadow of Mordor, Spyro, some of the Tales games, the Uncharted Collection, Until Dawn, I still need to play. Only played a little bit of The Witcher. Yeah. So, those are uh, my PS3 and PS4 games. So, once again, a few of them start up there, and then all those, all those, and those. Moving over here. My 360 games. Bioshock, I definitely want to play on the channel at some point. Uh, Call of Duty 2, I finished, but it's still being uploaded on the channel. Do I have Darksiders 2 twice? Darksiders 2, and... Huh. 
Cut that one twice. Okay. Dead Rising 1 and 2 and off the record. Um, recording is done on Dead Rising 2. Just needs to finish uploading. Uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast was good. Fable, definitely. Fallout, definitely. Halo, of course. I mean, what's a Let's Play channel without Halo? Uh, Cameo, I'd love to play. Left 4 Dead, one we've done, two I'd love to do. Uh, Orange Box and Portal 2, I'd love to play. I need to still play Portal 2. I've beaten the first Portal, and I, uh, I mean, Portal 1 was great. Um, I just need to play Portal 2. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, a bunch of Resident Evil games, uh, Saints Row, The Walking Dead, yes, I'd love to play those. Uh, moving on to Xbox One, Call of Duty World War II was really good, Dead Rising 3 was okay, but Dead Rising 4 was a lot better, Fallout 4 for some reason doesn't work. Um, I have plans to play Hello Neighbor at some point. Um, State of Decay, possibly. Rare Replay, I'd, I'd love to play some of the games on there. Moving on to past Todoroki and to the GameCube games. 1080 we played on the channel. That Bionicle game I'll probably play on the channel. Uh, what are these two that are backwards? Well, um, yeah, um, that's why those are backwards. Um, Phoenix sold those to me, and we were hoping that me and her would play those on the channel at some point to just tear the games apart. Um, we just haven't done that yet. Um, Eternal Darkness I'd love to play. Kirby Air Ride, one of the greatest GameCube games ever. Uh, me and Kaj played that. Um, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Four Swords Adventures. Um, we've played Ocarina, me and Citrus did that. Uh, Wind Waker, I'd like to play that at some point on the channel. Um, Luigi's Mansion, I, like I said, I, I love that game. Mario Kart was good. I mean, that's one of the greatest Mario Kart games. I mean, Mario Kart 8 is probably the only one that could rival that or top that, but it's still hard to beat Double Dash. Mario Party 4, 5, and 7. I don't have 6 yet. Uh, Mario Sunshine. Ooh, which, by the way... Yes, that is actually autographed by Charles himself. Uh, my cousin got to meet him, and she had him sign my copy of Mario Sunshine. And uh, He seems like a really nice guy. I wish I, would, I wish I was there to meet him, but... Um, he said thank you for playing my games and um, just overall was a friendly guy from what I heard. Uh, Fantasy Star, I know there were a lot of plans for me, Kaj, and Citrus. Maybe Phoenix, but doubtful Phoenix. Uh, possibly playing that one. Pokemon Channel, that was a really fun game on the channel. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's not really a game at all, but it was fun to play on the channel. Um, Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness, I'd love to play both of those. Soul Calibur with Link. Star Fox, Monkey Ball was good, Melee is always great. Tales of Symphonia, I'd love to play that one on the channel. Um, that's a Wii game. I thought I had... There we go. Skies of Arcadia. I, I I knew I had that. And uh, Pac-Man game on GameCube. Uh, moving on to the Wii. Donkey Kong Country Returns would be good. Guitar Hero games, a lot of Guitar Hero games. Uh, the Ice Spy games look fun to play on the channel. Kirby's Epic Yarn, I'd love to play. Skyward Sword, I'd like to play. Mario Kart Wii, I think we'd play someday. I know Citrus really enjoyed the Mario Galaxy games, but Kaj probably did too. 
uh, Mario Party 8, the infamous uh, Metroid games. I think Other M was the more infamous one than. I don't know. I don't remember people's uh, thoughts on 3, but I, I remember a lot of people hated Other M. Uh, Rock Band, which kind of bothers me. I have it separated from Guitar Hero, but they are in alphabetical order now for the most part. I mean, I, I put Super Mario in with Mario Kart because they're both Mario games, but overall, I, I have them in alphabetical order. Um, Smash Brothers. Trauma Center, I think, would be good to play. I don't know what this... Wii Sports, yes. Uh, that one's recorded. Uh, it just hasn't been uploaded yet. Um, that one's... For, for my memories of that one were, um... Interesting. Uh, Bayonetta, Captain Toad, Donkey Kong Country, Hyrule Warriors, Twilight Princess, which... Oh yeah, somebody, somebody borrowed my copy of Twilight Princess on the Wii, like, years ago, and, well, it's a good thing I have it on the Wii U. Uh, Mario 3D World. I'd like to play the Lego Undercover, Undercover game. It's like Grand Theft Auto Lego style. Mario Kart 8 is good. Mario Maker's good. Uh, Mighty Number no. 9 is supposedly tro uh, atrocious, terrible. Uh, NES Remix Pack, I was kind of disappointed. It wasn't what I thought it was. Pokemon Tournament, I could probably play on the channel. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, Zombie U... Uh, yeah. And then moving on to Switch games. It's hard to read those. But Collection of Mana, Super Mario Maker 2, Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, and Breath of the Wild, Luigi's Mansion 3, Mario Kart 8, plus the Steelbook, Octopath Traveler, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Sonic Forces, Xenoblade Chronicles. I also have Ultimate and Sword and Shield, which they're just not here because I was kind of bouncing between those three. So, uh, yeah, they're just uh, not where they're supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I'd love to play Octopath at some point and Sword and Shield and, well, one or the other um, at some point. Luigi's Mansion 3, I could see me playing on the channel. Um... Yeah, so those are those. Moving on to over here. Have uh, this game case I opened up. Uh, well, there's the rest of the PSP games. But we have... Uh, these are my original Xbox games, which, uh, Doom, I can see me playing, Fable, Halo, of course, Jade Empire. Uh, I gotta move that myself out of the way. Medal of Honor, definitely. Uh, Munch's Odyssey, I'd love to play. That game's really nostalgic to me. Rollercoaster Tycoon, I'd love to play. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, yes. Uh... Time Splitters was great. And then moving on to... This is a really bad angle. I'm, I apologize. Uh, Genesis Games. Um, and you saw I had uh, Sonic 2. So, Mortal Kombat 3, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, Super Street Fighter. What is this? Oh, Streets of Rage 2, um, Toe Jam and Earl, and Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So those are those games. Uh, PS2 games, i got a bunch of them that are just in sleeves. So these are the games that I have just in sleeves or a case. So I got the, the, the Jack Trilogy, Destroy All Humans, Medal of Honor... Another Call of Duty game. Virtua Fighter. That Civil War game was like a Call of Duty Civil War, so that was really cool. So those are a few um, 
games I'd like to play at some point. Okay, and here are my NES games. Uh, Donkey Kong was the very first game I played on my channel. Uh, oh, that was seven years ago. Dang. <laughs> Doing this a while. Um, cool, my phone's ringing. Yep, it was a courtesy call. Robot person. Uh, so yeah, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, uh, Mock Rider. Um, there's a lot of games here that I'd like to play on the channel at some point. Um, bunch of Mario games, Paperboy, um, what are in these? Uh, Monopoly, TMNT, okay. Uh, those are broken 360 games, which is why they're just out of the way. Uh, moving on to Super Nintendo, NBA Jam, Donkey Kong Country, Doom, uh, Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby Avalanche, Kirby Superstar, which Superstar is amazing. Um, Mario World and Yoshi's Island. Out of This World, which was a very difficult game. Uh, game Grumps made it look easy. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. Star Fox. I mean, I, I, it's, it's really hard to see these because of the shadow. Um, but if any of these games look of interest to you to play on the channel, let me know. And uh, I might play them. Uh, down here, 64 games. What's this one? No, oh, 007. My phone is blocking my screen that has... There we go. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Battle Tanks 1 and 2. This one is Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong 64... Kirby Crystal Shards. You can tell that's Majora. Mario Kart. See, I labeled a lot of these, but then I bought new ones. Uh, Mario Party 1, 2. Two copies of two. Perfect Dark. Hey, you Pikachu. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. Star Fox 64, Smash Brothers, Wave Race, and Yoshi's Story. Moving on to the other PS2 games. I'd love to play the GTA games, Half-Life, and Television Lives, uh, Katamari, uh, Kingdom Hearts, definitely, um, Metal Gear Solid, definitely. Ratchet and Clank, definitely. Star Wars Battlefront 1 is recorded, not uploaded yet. But Battlefront 2 is good. Lego Star Wars is always good. Star Ocean, I'd love to play. Um, so if any of those interest you, let me know and I can see you about getting one of those series started on the channel. Uh, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat, Shenmue, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, Street Fighter, um, I think there's a Marvel vs. Capcom in there too, uh, Soul Calibur, SNK, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom too, yep. Um, these I got from that hoarder. Um, I think he sold me bootleg games. Well, you can tell. They're obviously bootlegged. Um, but I think they work, at least. Um, PlayStation games. Uh, uh, Army Men. Bubsy. I'd love to play uh, Bubsy with Kaj. I think that would be 
really good for me and him to play. What's this one? Uh, Crash, Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8, and Chrono Trigger. I don't have the original on uh, Super Nintendo, but I do have it on PlayStation, which I heard isn't as good. I, I Apparently they butchered a lot of things in that one or something. Metal Gear Solid. Pandemonium was a fun uh, platformer game. Uh, Pong. Rampage is always good. SimCity. Me and Odin played this once, and we couldn't figure out how to do anything. So, um, oh, Silent Hill's good. Uh, Spyro, Tomb Raider, drawing a blink, oh, Tekken, yeah, I knew that. Uh, and then Atari games, uh, what's this one, Asteroids, I, some, a lot of these I've played, a lot of these I haven't, um, but, look what I do have. E.T. Considered to be one of the worst video games ever created. Basically tied with Donkey Kong, uh, not Donkey Kong 64, Superman 64. Donkey Kong 64 is great. Uh, Superman 64 was also pretty atrocious. I don't have that one, but... Jeez, it's hard to do this one-handed. Yes. Um, I have what is considered one of the worst games ever made. Uh, Missile Command, Miss Pac-Man. The original Pac-Man is also considered to be one of the worst games ever made. Uh, Sword Quest, Earth World, and Fire World. I don't have Water World. Uh, Super Breakout's good. Um, and in my um, in my Atari, I as you saw, I have Haunted House, which is the best Atari game, in my opinion. So, anyway. Ugh. That. That is my tour. Um, if you guys are interested, I can also post a video of uh, anime stuff. But I figured this time around will just be video game related. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this this video will probably end up being like an hour long. I, I apologize for that, but um, well, there's a lot of stuff to show. And uh, if you guys, let me, like I said, let me know if there are some games that you guys want to see me play on the channel. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I have a huge backlog of stuff um, to get through before new content. I, I still have stuff that we recorded back in 2017. I think there was even something that's in the mix from 2015, um, or 2016. I think it was 2016. But um, once once that all that's done, I might still throw in a new game into the mix as well. I I still want to clear out my backlog though. But um, if there if there's a game that you guys saw that you want to see me play on the channel, um, I'll see if I can make that work. I know there are some games that are committed to play with Phoenix or Kaj or Citrus or somebody else. Um, so it all depends on if I'm able to get together with them to record. But if it's just a game that I'm going to be playing by myself, then uh, yeah, I might be able to get that uploaded a little bit sooner than later. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this super long video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, join my Discord. Join the Facebook page. Um, where you'll be notified of new videos of stuff and uh, just a fun way to get to know the fan base. I have a fan base? I don't know if I have much of a fan base. I'd like to make a fan base. Um, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Um, stay safe, stay healthy in the year 2020, which is still a train wreck of a year. Um, but I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.